Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or maybe video, in which we're exploring a new mod for Hearts of Iron 4 called Code Geass. Um, if I will link the Steam page in the description below of this video. Now, honestly, I, I don't know a whole lot about this anime, but it interested me and I know my friends have uh, watched it before. But right now, we have a unique focus tree, and right now the time is recording. Only the Imperial Provinces of the Homeland has a unique focus tree. If they come over to was it the Japanese Isles or the Empire of Japan, they do not have one either, but the Federal Empire of Zheng, China, technically does. But I, from the Steam description at the time of this recording, it doesn't do anything. So really, this is the only nation that has stuff here. But if you'd like to check out the, the uh, mod page itself, first link in the description below. So I'm hoping that we can do stuff here very soon an unexpected death so basically we gotta wait for uh, i guess charles de britannia to die he's a social darwinist proponent you get more political power you lose monthly population you lose stability get some more war support so but if you like me about the description please go right ahead and as you can see we have one general here and we you know i guess we can't get another one with a new commander thomas mabry sure why not um yeah and we're part of the imperial dynasty not dynasty but dynasty and here are our national spirits Strict stratocracy, more military leader costs, army leader costs, more stability. We have an efficient administration, which looks pretty darn good. As well as institutionalized segregation. Oh, can I say that word in the first few minutes? Oh, well, whatever. And then military-led academia. All right. Empress Mariana is dead. We have ty tyranny of aristocracy. All right. As well as pr army primacy. Looks really, really nice, actually. And the financial conglomerates, which is... It is what it is, but this is a disaster. One of the most important empress in the empire, known as Lady Merian, has been assassinated in the Imperial Palace at Pendragon, and all her personal gods are now lying dead. The attack was carried out in broad day, and the authors are still... Authors are still unknown to the public, although numerous people consider this a... Uh, <clears throat> attack of a terrorist kind. Marianne was in the palace with her two children, Le Loc and Nunnally V. Britannia, who assisted the entire scene. In particular, the younger daughter, Nunnally, eventually lost the sight and the use of both legs. Holy crap. Investigations have already begun under the authority of Cornelia Le Britannia, former head of the Royal Guards. Situation is really tense in the government, and the Emperor has decided to cover the news in initial moments. This could have been avoided, but I, found, I know I'm mispronouncing things. If you want to help me out with pronunciations, please Spell it out for me in the comments, because I don't want to spell too many things incorrectly, or say or pronounce them incorrectly. An unexpected death. Something terrible is going to happen in Pendragon. Well, kind of already figured that one out. Close the capital. First, we have to close all access to the capital. In this way, we can save face to the public and block any witnesses to leave Pendragon. We get more command power and stability, which is okay. And then continue the investigation. A special task force has been formed to solve the case, but we must keep an eye on them. And right now, uh, here's everything. We're making... A sub 2 for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I think that was just set up initially by the uh, developer. And then, unsolved case? We have crossed the red line. Since they've discovered too many secrets in the Imperial government, we have to stop the investigation now. Something is up. After weeks of hard investigation, it's very hard, with the deployment of the best officers in the entire district, we've discovered that some connections between the murder parts of the, and parts of the government itself. The hidden network seems to link also the secret order of the Gias, which a fanatical religious organization which have some influence in the royal family. At this point, it's probable that behind the assassination, they are behind the assassination, or there is the order and corrupt the guards inside the palace. While this is an internal plot, it will create huge shock in the press's hands, and it must be kept secret at all costs. This is getting out of hand. I guess we'll see what happens. We get, hey, exactly one political power every single day. Not bad. And we also have area two, area three, five, eight, six, seven, um, three is over here as well, and two, and... Cool. Dead end. We were digging deeper and deeper into the order of the Gias, and finally some suspects were found inside the organization. Despite this, we felt that all were closely watched and one day it happened. While we were working in our office, the Imperial Secret Services broke into the structure. They weren't alone. The police had already encircled the entire pal place, and the officers were ready to arrest us soon. We were fired from the case, which was considered unsolved and filed. It seems that Empress Charles, advised from high exponents of the Gias, have ordered a complete shutdown of the case and the destruction of the eventual evidence. At this point, it's clear that the Emperor knows much more than we thought, but it's pointless to continue or even protest. Watch your back, dear detective. Contact the Prime Minister. After the accident, we have to stabilize the situation, and Prime Minister Schneisel can help us with that. In which we can confront the Chinese Federation, or manage a domestic front. Let's do the domestic front first. It's a 49-day focus. Wow, we lost a lot of pee-pee. In order to further stabilize the nation, the Prime Minister has advised a number of measures to counter internal troublemakers and hidden threats. Oh boy. 
Recently, the international human rights group known as NAR has issued a statement that condemns the policies imposed on the numbers, or in other words, the na native people subjugated in the colonial areas by the Holy Britannian Empire. In particular, the statement denounced the oppressive conditions reserved to the numbers and it urges a revision of the current imperial policy. The group became famous after a series of attacks towards the Chinese Federation and the Ignox, but it gave its support in several corruptions cases in the Euro universe. Considering its reputation, it was under surveillance by a number of secret services, but the Britannian foreign minister has just declared that the famous or infamous NAR will be put under the category of domestic or just terroristic organizations. Surprisingly, Britannia has gained a huge wave of criticism around the world, but no concrete action is expected to be taken by other superpowers. Nonsense. And also, we do have other nations such as the priorities. No. We have the Federal Empire of France, which has just so many, so many puppets. Holy crap. But priorities, despite the fact that we are, the case is now closed, the consequences of the aftermath are still here. In particular, the two other superpowers have noticed our weaker position and have taken a more aggressive stance towards us. Furthermore, many tensions and fears have arisen in the royal government and the royal family itself. Now, we must decide the sector where our limited resources should go first. Oh, well, I... Mm, I mean, we can do both, right? We exist. Um, foreign threat... That is disabled, so manage the domestic front first. Oh, okay. Reassure the royal family. Lenoc and Nunali, the sons of Marianne, are in an extremely dangerous position in Pendragon after Lenoc's ridiculous request. They must be sent to Japan as bargaining tools as members of the royal family. They're going to be under Kurogurgi's protection. The children will be sent abroad and then sadly on the purest faction. Is this an enclave? The purists have acquired a dangerous amount of popularity among the imperial soldiers, thanks to the Marianne Affair. They currently represent a danger to the crown, and as a result of this, they must be sidelined from Britannian politics for now. I forgot to do this too. Whoopsie. That is not a good division. Imperial Infantry... 27 combat width? Wait. 16. Armored... Uh, you know, they might be 27 combat width, but they're looking like the best division that we have so far. Also, we have a pretty big navy, which is pretty nice, actually. Hello. Why do we go over there? Oh, there's a sub. Nice. You can throw the sub over here. Hey, cool. Train, and then one, two, three. We could use... That dude and train until your booties are done. And we're trying to get some carriers here just so we can probably because because in the focus tree here later on we are going to attack Japan. So the Oriental incident Pax announced Pax Britannica proposed negotiations to improve armament research. Departure of Prince Leluc and Princess Nunnally. The Emperor has decided a final arrangement for the Prince Leluc and Princess Nunnally. Or Prince Luluk. The children of the defunct Empress Marianne are going to Japan for an indeterminate period of time. This move will be a useful way to turn Luluk and Nunnally into political pawns and at the same time reassure the royal family. Furthermore, this security will be secured in an aging nation from the plans of the eventual hitman in the imperial capital, Pendragon. Eventually, they're going to be under the protection of Prime Minister Kurugi and his son since we will tell the press that their journey is only educational purposes. It is necessary. So where's our capital? Oh, it's over here. Pendragon's in Arizona. Okay. Cool. Reform uh, nobility dominance after we get some more construction stuff done, I suppose. Yes, please. Uh, it is important to reform the dominance of the nobility in the Britannian political system and support the mighty families of Pendragon, who helped us various times during the Emblem of Blood of Era. Furthermore, this will further weaken the radical factions and at the same time boost the oligarchic financial conglomerates. We need more army XP. We need more factories. Um, I don't want to do that, but we kind of have to... Artillery, yeah, we... Ooh. Wait. No. Nope. Is that supposed to happen? We can't make stuff. But god dang, this mod moves fast. I love it. The situation is under control. After many troubles, we finally managed to stabilize the internal situation in public order. In this state of things, we can start the Pacific Campaign without fear of domestic unrest or disorders. Probably a good idea to get uh, domestic unrest kind of situated first. Also, we're building a lot of civvies. Um, at this point, I guess get two millies, I guess, going as well, because we can. Uh, still one a day. Looking very nice. We get a little bit more, a few more factories, which is very good as well. Um, I, I don't understand why we can't be making stuff here. We have the tungsten. We've got the steel. We've got the factories. Hmm. Okay. And we're making some light cruisers as well, actually. Uh, if you want to take a look at the light cruisers that were... Oh, this is nice. Let's wait till the next one's done, though, really. These guys aren't very good, I'll be honest. But it is what we have. Light cruiser back there, yes, please. Oh, wow. Oh, anti-air 4. Wow, okay, that's really strong. Oh, no armor. This is gobbo. Oh. Oh, why do you pain me so? Here, do that one instead. Because this one, I'm going to switch it out with this one. 
Uh, Alright, there you go. No radar, but... Oh, that is not ideal, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Well, alright, and also we have other factions here, too. I do want to show you these guys. We have the Imperial State of Iran, and here are the, like, the factions, like the European faction. It's huge. It's just massive. The United Republic of Europea. Europea with Africa. There's the Middle East faction, and then the Chinese Federation with India. And then just there's just Japan. Like, oh, we're actually down here, too. Look at that. You, we're on you, you, you. Okay. Um, yeah, and yeah, Japan is by itself. They didn't get to join any Asian faction, so they'll probably have to create their own. But confront the Chinese Federation. In order to regain our soft power on the world stage, we can fight a rival in the Pacific, the Chinese Federation. Despite their numbers, the Chinese army isn't ready for a surprise attack on the Dominions in Asia. Is, is that a good thing to do, attack China right now? Do, do they have a navy? Um, these guys like us. They have no navy. Uh, we got a carrier. I love it. I love carriers. Let's come over here, and I'll set it up. And here we have it, my friends. A really, really nice carrier. Well, it's one that'll suit us for now. I mean, really good anti-air. We got. I like a little bit of armor on my carrier. It's a little bit of speed. No radar, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Cool. And since that is done, you guys are going to... Actually, you guys are actually... Is that the one I made, or is this the one I made? Uh, this one's not as good. It's slower, and I don't, like, I don't like slow things. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. And do it twice. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what are we on right now? So we have extensive conscription. We've got a lot of manpower. Partial mobilization already. Uh, no advisors, no in concerns, no industrialists. But, like I said, this is in very, very early um, alpha. Very early alpha, as you can tell. But it is okay. You know, this mod probably has a lot of promise to it, so. I, I was trying to find the, the Discord server, if there is one, from the mod creator, but I don't, I don't think I found it. But, you know what? Maybe I'll put it on his Steam page eventually. Ah, oh, one PP. Okay, so after confronting the Chinese Federation, Manila's airstrikes. Ooh, they probably don't like that. Start a border clash. Manila's airstrikes. The Philippines are one of the weakest puppets of the Chinese Federation, and due to their position near Area 10 and Britannia Pacific Fleet, a perfect target. To cripple military infrastructure and the morale, we're going to need to perform a major airstrike on the capital, regardless of civilian victims. Furthermore, the Chinese reaction will be slow. Mm, and then we'll start a border clash. We can start some border clashes with Japan and the Ishigaki, Ishigaki Islands so the nation will not interfere with their affairs. In particular, Britannia patrol craft are going to fire warning shots at any Japanese fishing boat near the coast. And if necessary, they'll be forced searched on them. Japan probably didn't like that. Especially after we sent... Didn't we just send our... The prince and princess over there? Okay, now we're making stuff. Okay, that's, that's nice. Uh, um... Okay, yeah, why not? Keep making more, keep making more. We need more, 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 more. We don't have radar yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It seems like we're going to need probably quite a bit of, of a naval base. Probably in here? Probably. Just go and make one of those, because we probably going to get hit a whole bunch. I don't see that we... Uh, we own this up is here as well. So we'll see what happens, hey. Start board clashes, why not? It's okay, we just casually bombed the Philippines. It happens, you know. Supposedly bombed it. Airstrike on Manila. A month ago, several airstrikes took place in the capital of the Philippines, Manila. The bombing seems to have been performed by the Holy Britannian Empire. Several international newspapers have highlighted the devastation caused by the attack. This has also been confirmed by the journalist president of the country. According to a Japanese military official, based on the scar of the landscape, no effort was made to reduce collateral damage against the native population. The country has close links to the Chinese Federation, and a strong response is expected from the superpower. Despite this, it seems unlikely that a full-blown war will break out soon. Only, only collateral damages, that's all it is. Um, we get more naval too, which is great. Take, take the Philippines. Okay. With all the preparations finished, we can properly start the invasion of the islands, Operation named Operation Rolling Thunder. The three main landings will start from Area 10. It's important to state that the operation must be quick, or we'll be forced to back down to avoid a total war. Total war? Do you want the total krieg? That's what I want. Um, where are you guys at? Uh, I mean, if, if we have to set this up, I mean, that's fine with me. These guys actually really suck. They're really not good. Um... I'm setting this up just in case we actually have to personally navally invade, so... Yeah, let's, let's make sure we, we do okay. And then one, two... Cool, and... Yeah. Alright, do and do. Um, go up there if you can, and then bing bong. I don't think they have that many divisions. I hope they don't. I really hope they do not, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, for some reason, I can't evade from there. Okay, that's very weird. There you go. We'll try that. 
Um. Oh, we got two more ships. That's very nice. You guys stop training. Come all the way over here to Palo Island, just in case we really need to get ready for this stuff. And can we go to War Economy? Great. And we're going to take the Philippines if we can. Because they shouldn't have that big of a military, right? They have a good amount of manpower. One in nine divisions. That's not bad. Uh, oh, and what national spirits do they have? Well, over here. Paralyzing corruption sounds pretty good. Militarized Zone of Federation. And the Chinese Economic Exploitation. Followed up with the uh, same thing. Chinese, su Chinese Supremacy. Wow, that's really strong. Holy crap. Mi military Industrial Complexes. Uh, words. And then the Imperial Army. Not too bad. That's actually not very good, though. Holy crap. And the Officers' Unrest. Wow, that kind of sucks for China. We're still trying to get you guys in there. All right. The Council of Nagashin, in fact, the Oriental Incident. After the operation, we received the condemnation of all nations in Asia. And the most important ones have decided to block our ports and impose harsh sanctions on our trade. This is a disaster for the economy. We must be quick to act or the consequences will be severe. I mean, I hope we do well. I'm, I'm not sure what else to say. I hope we do well. It is 10... 20... 10... Wait, these don't even have penalties they do. Okay. Well, let's go all the way then. <laughs> All right, you guys are pretty much all the way down here. Let's do that, that, that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'll probably go in there too as well. That is fine. That should be okay. That should be okay. You guys do the exact same thing. Just go like, I don't know if we're actually going to go to war with Japan. We probably actually are going to go to war with Japan. Let's do that too. There you go, something like that. Hope we don't lose a lot of ships. And Operation Rolling Thunder. After weeks of preparation. <clears throat> We are ready to launch an invasion of the Chinese-controlled Philippines. It's important to quickly capture the entire archipelago so we can outmaneuver the enemy and avoid a direct confrontation. The three main attacks will start from Area 10, in particular the main armies will eventually will be on Palo, Guam, and Iwo Jima with full naval near support. Eventually, the future territories are going to be fundamental for the future expansion into the Pacific theater of the Great Britannian Empire. Start the operation. Oh, okay, do the Oriental incident. All right, so I mean, we already are pretty much launched to go. Uh, Francis Bates, do the best you can. I hope we do well. Oh, there's stuff around here. What do they have a navy? We they have some convoys, which we love to sink, but And we've landed! Great! Good job, Marines! Good job! Have we landed anywhere else yet? Manila maybe? We've taken Manila! I love it! Manila yum yum! Manila cookies? Yum 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 yum! Cool. Oh, they do have some divisions down here too. That is interesting to see. Ah, we found the divisions! Ah, they do have divisions down here too. Ah, I see. Head on down there and take all the land in between. Alright, the Philippines have fallen. Quick strike. Alright, very nice. Minimal casualties. Just the way we like it. Um, The Knights of Rounds. We go to war with Imperial Japan, so the Chinese Federation starts retaliation. After our attack on the Philippines, it seems that the Chinese Federation has formed a temporary alliance with the other two uh, other superpowers. The Euro universe and pressured Japan to align it with its interests. As a result of this astonishing move, Britannia is now isolated with the majority of the world's trade because of the numerous economic sanctions and ports blockades. While this will greatly damage Britannian economy in the short term, it could be an occasion to reach their empire's autarky and prove the Britannians' greatness once and for all. This was unexpected. Weekly stability goes down by point two. Oh, it's 400 days. That's not too... I'm not worried about that then. Oh, that, okay. Announced Pax Britannia. Come. The Emperor has built a new narration for the Britannian citizens with the exploitation of the Oriental Incident. The Britannian nation is the only one chosen by God to be the strongest and its duties to conquer other weaker races. Oh, racial stuff. In other words, world domination using our military and ideological superiority. I love ideological superiority. It's my favorite type. Alright, y'all head from here. Uh, we're gonna attack Naha. We might just—I might just go straight for the Japanese home islands. I—I I mean, that's probably a really bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyways because we can. All right, and then you guys—that's uh, pretty far away to go all the way to Nagasaki. We don't have any nukes this time. Also, the tag for this country is currently is America or the USA, so it's kind of cool. Um, hopefully they don't have a big old navy. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Um, Osaka, and I don't know. We'll try this. It might go really poorly, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Oh, we, oh, look at that. We can build military infrastructures. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Occupied territories. Um, Yeah, infantry. Uh, that's the only one we can really use. No. Uh, this is weird music, man. The Oriental Incident. 
For the Reich, huh? Oh, and also there's the radio stations here, but if I click on these, um, I probably I will get copyright struck, so I, I, I can't afford that, so. Uh, after the Britannian conquest of the Philippines, Japan, which is known for strict neutrality, has decided to align its policies with the plan of the EU and the Chinese Federation in particular. The two superpowers and their allies have applied a huge economic pressure on Britannia, with a total port blockade and several economic sanctions in an effort to come to negotiations about the situation in the Pacific. Britannia, in a surprise to many observers, has reacted in extremists, and in a quick and clumsy statement and promise for retaliation. Many consider this a major international defeat for the mighty Britannian Empire, but it's unlikely that the cooperation between the universe and China will continue after this. They will pay. And I guess up next, improve armament research. Well, the Philippines' invasion was a costly operation. We can divert some funds to improve the quality of the army in new biotechnologies called Nightmare Frames. These weapons will be powerful enough to crush the Japanese. And we get a whole flip another research slot. Sign us up. Well, we got a lot of air XP. Not bad. You know what? Screw it. Let's get one of these. Office of Strategic Services. And then propose negotiations. If we hope to partly recover our economy, we must open diplomatic negotiations with the Chinese. In particular, we can organize a territorial partition of the Philippines in exchange for a secret trade with their goods. The Northern Islands are going to be remaining in our hands due to the strategic importance for Operation Tidal Waves. Cool. There's no one else we can get here, too. We might go with limited exports, actually, just because we can. We'll see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And a fifth research slot. No one can contest our navy because, well, we're going to make it better, better, better. Even though, actually, you know, I've, I've been focusing a lot more destroyers at the time of this recording. Um, just because, like, if you see here, you get bonuses to destroyers. Expert efficiency does go up for us of anybody, but even though a light cruiser gets more organization, even destroyers get more organization as well. And they get even more organization. And then they get even more organization, especially compared to light cruisers, so... I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer, if you play Hoi 4, of course, if you're watching this channel, you probably do. At least one point, or you like, just like watching, so thank you for watching. Um, do you prefer using destroyers, or do you prefer using cruisers? I generally, in the past, have usually preferred using cruisers. I always like cruisers a whole lot. But, I'm open to trying out destroyers a whole lot more, even though I've been using destroyers a whole lot as of late, so. Let me know in the comments below. Cool, do that too. Uh, what do we do with our PP? Where do we stick it? Actually, what's the next after this one? Propose negotiations to deploy the Knights of Rounds. Oh, let's get this one first then. Nancy Taylor is a smoocher. Smooch, smooch. And up next, deploy the Round Knights of the Shanghai Proposal. Uh, to a surprise, the Prime Minister has come up with an interesting compromise with the Chinese Federation. In particular, he met with the Enochs at Shanghai to discuss about the Oriental Incident and improve the sour relations between the two superpowers. The Luoyang, Luoyang government is ready to secretly ease part of the trade blockade and allow limited commercial relations in exchange. There will be a partition of the Philippines between Area 10 and Indonesia and Chinese puppet. Furthermore, the territorial territories maintained by Britannia are going to be most strategically important for the future expansion into Asia. Refuse it? Ah, uh, we could probably accept that. That's fine. The Indonesian Federation. Oh, it's down here. Look at that. Empress Tianzi. Refuse it. Um, hey, okay, so we get more weekly stability. That's not too bad. We can accept that. That's fine. So now they got the Southern Islands, which is honestly totally fine with me. Totally fine. Deploy the Knights of Rounds. In these weeks, we are deploying our best troops, the Knights of Rounds, in Area 10 to prepare for the invasion of Japan. Our Pacific Fleet is already ready and positioned near Iwo Jima, Alaska, and the West Coast. Eventually, new technologies are ready to be used. Very good. And so, just in case, uh, with these guys... We don't need to do that area. Um, to invade, we might need this area, so we're going to keep that on on. And keep, 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 keep. I hope Japan does not have a navy, because it'll make it so much easier if they don't. But, hey, we'll see. Total trade blockade. They have a million manpower. A lot of things. You know, it doesn't look like they have a navy, or really much of a military either. But that's okay with us. After that, Operation Tidal Waves. Now we can officially start Operation Tidal Waves. The invasion of mainland Japan. In this case, we must be quick, or... We risk the reaction of the other superpowers, in which we go to war with them, and change the national focus tree to Britannia Part 2, which is not done yet. Like I said, this is an early, early alpha, so, like, oh. Okay. Um, here, join the, join the group here. Everyone go in, go in. Um, but yeah, like, there's a lot of promise, and part of the reason why I actually wanted to play this was maybe to see if people would be interested in joining and helping out with the mod. Like, and develop it. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Like, I couldn't find a Discord server, like I said earlier, at the time it's recording. And I know I speak very fast. But it is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. And please. 56 day focus. Oh, Pax Britannica. That's so nice, actually. How fast would it take for us to justify on a manual? Oh, we can't. Oh, well, tension's very low. But the Federal Empire... Uh, them? The Middle East? Oh, they have declining foreign 
Ooh. The Sultan's democracy and the Oil King is failing. Oh boy. You know what I love researching? 1940 carrier holes and 2010. No one, oh, no one, there's no penalty. We're like 70 years ahead. Oh, you literally don't even have any folk, national spirits. Morocco, social liberals here, huh? No fleet, good amount of manpower, as expected. All right, anyone else down here at all? They've got some garrisons. Of course, I mean, this is us. I mean, this is us, but then they have other areas here too. Convoy escorts, not bad. Not bad. Just in case. Just in case. And we get still 1.05 every single day. Not bad. And I guess we're going right on in, my friends. Ah, yes, they have convoys. Good, good, good. And we've landed. Splendid. But I think this mod has a lot of potential. I know people in the past have tried to make mods for this, uh, well, for the anime, kind of, sort of, you know. Um, but, like, they're all out of date at the time of this recording, so I'd be interested to see what else could happen with this mod. Um, roam around, guys, roam around. You guys go over there, you guys go there, you guys go there. Um, you guys are trying to show up. Oh. Oh, boy. Alright, since they have no army, it's pretty easy to do this with if they have no army, so... There you go. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. We didn't have to nuke Hiroshima this time. Maybe next time, though. Hey, maybe next time. Tokyo's ours. We've lost nobody. And we call it in New, Angl New Anglia. Where's that? Oh! That's in New Zealand. Oh! Australia doesn't exist. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, well... Well, I guess everyone, let's go to Sapporo and have a good time. Computer machines are nice. Cool. Get some more research. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It is 2010, 2013. I'm still going to research that, huh? Well, I guess the evil empire of Japan is gone, even though, uh... I'm, uh didn't we send the kids here? I'm pretty sure we sent the kids here. So, I think that's it for the mod. Obviously, there's not a lot here. But there's a lot of potential for there to be this to be a great mod. So... I highly encourage you to check out the mod for yourself in uh, on Steam on Steam with the Steam page. Like I said earlier, link is in the description below. It's the first link. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another video and campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.